flowers are the reproductive part of flowering plants. They are known for their beautiful colors and attractive appearance. They occur in different varieties in terms of their shape, color, and appearance. However, they have similar basic structure. In today's video, we'll talk about the structure and the function of the various components of flowers alongside with some quick strategies. So do well to watch the end. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and like the video before continue watching. All right, if you are done, let's proceed to the main video. So let's start with the parts of a flower. Over here, we have a nice flower, which will be labeling. Starting from the bottom, we have pedicel. Receptacle, sepal, the petal, this and that forms the anther, which is supported by the filament. The anther and the filament forms the male part of the flower, which is called the stamen. We have the stigma, supported by the style. Ovary, which houses the ovule. The stigma, the style, the ovule, the ovary, all together forms the female part, which is called the pistil or carpel. So these are the parts of a flower. So we are starting with the male part of the flower. And the male part of the flower is the stamen. A quick overview of the parts we have on the screen, A is the anther and B is the filament. The function of the anther is to produce pollen grains. The filament is also there to support the anther. Combining all this, we can say that the stamen is there to produce the male sex cell known as pollen grain. A group of stamen on the flower is called androecium. We can now move to the female part, which is the pistil or the carpel. So the female part, the female part is also known as the pistil or carpel. A quick overview of the parts displayed on the screen, we have A to be our stigma, B style, C becomes the ovary, and D the ovule. Now let's quickly move to the functions of the various parts. The stigma is a sticky structure that receives pollen grains. The style supports the stigma. The ovary is the structure that contains the ovules and develop into fruits after fertilization. And lastly, the ovule produces the female sex cell. Combining this, we can see that the pistil is there to produce the female sex cell. A group of pistil is known as the gynecium. So whenever I have a group of pistils, either two, three, or what have you, they are called gynecium. All right, let's go through a quick strategy on how to spot the difference between the stamen and the pistil in terms of their structure. Taking the stamen into consideration, its structure is comparable to that of a microphone. 
So this is a stamen and this is a microphone. That is how the structure actually looks like. Let's take the pistil. What do you think the structure of a pistil can be compared to? Guess? Yes, you are right. The structure of the pistil is comparable to that of a canoe pedal. A canoe pedal. It looks exactly like that. In fact, the very first I told this, or I disclosed this strategy to my students, they were very, very amazed. And when they started practicing this, drawing these structures became very, very easy for them, especially for the pistol. Anytime they remember a canoe pedal, they're able to draw a pistol. Anytime they remember a microphone, they're able to put down a stamen. And that is what you should be doing exactly. The only thing you need to do is just recall these structures, the microphone and that of the canoe pedal. And you'll be able to draw them very well, spot the difference between them in terms of their structure. So the petals. The petals are the brightly colored part of flowers. They are large and occur in varieties of colors like red, yellow, pink, or any other color you can think of. Over here on our screen, we have a petal which is red in color. Collective term for the petals of a flower is Corolla. This just reminds me of a brand of car called Corolla. This car occurs in different varieties in terms of their colors. We can have the yellow brand, the red, the white, blue, or any other color you can think of. In fact, these pretty colors of the coral are what attract insects to the flower. And that is a function of the petals, specifically to attract insects for pollination. The sepals are the green part of the flower on the screen. They are mostly found under the base of the flower. The main function of the sepal is to protect the flower in the bud stage. So as you can see on the screen, the sepals are the parts which are green and they are there to render protection to the flower bud. A collective term for all the sepals of a flower is a calyx. So these are a few facts about the sepals.